Today we're going to be talking about looking at uh, rectangles and circles and uh, partitioning them into equal shares. Now partition means to break into parts. So let me write the word down so we can get a look for what this is all about. Partition means to break something into parts and you see the word part in partition. So that means to take a whole, in this case it's going to be the whole rectangle or the whole circle, and we're going to partition it, that means break it into parts, um, and we're going to break it into shares. Now when you have uh, something like a candy bar or a cookie um, and you begin to break it apart, you begin to share it. Um, but in this case we want to talk about equal shares and equal shares mean that they will have uh, the same amount that's being given in every single share. So, let's take a look here. Uh, in this shape right here we have a rectangle and in our rectangle if we partition this um, we want to break, break it into two equal shares. Um, I'm just going to have to break it once so I'm going to draw one line and for today's purposes I will draw a line going straight down like this. As you can see, I have broken this whole rectangle up into uh, two shares. One share here and another share here. Now, uh, these shares are equal. Um, there's the same amount in this share as there is here. It's very visual to see that. And um, what do I call this share right here? What do I call this piece right here? Um, well, any time that you have one of what it takes two of to make a whole, we're going to call that one share a half. Let's write this word here. This is a half. Okay? And this share right here is also called a half. Now how many shares are right here that I'm pointing to? This is one half. And how many shares do I have here that I'm pointing to? This is one half. Okay. So we have a whole that is partitioned, that means broken, into two equal shares. Um, what do we call one of what it takes one two of to make a whole? We call that share a half. Okay let's break this circle into um, two equal shares. Let's partition that into two equal shares. Looking here, the circle is the whole. If we partition right down the center, um, we can actually see that we have, now how many shares do we have? We have one share here and another share here. Uh, because they are two equal shares, we can then say um, what is one of what it takes one two of to make a whole we can call it a half so this is one half here and this is one half here okay so we now have we now have uh, figured out what we call one of what it takes one two of to make a whole over here we can call one of what it takes one two of to make a whole a half so a half is one of what it takes two of to make a whole. Okay. So looking here, um, how many how many halves make up a whole? Well, let's count them. The noun is half, um, and whenever we have uh, a noun, we're just going to count the nouns. So we have one half, and this is another half. How many? Two halves. So how many halves does it take to make a whole? It takes two halves. And whenever we have more. Uh, whenever we want to make a word that ends in uh, ALF um, plural, 
we uh, we get rid of the F, replace it with a V, and add ES. So we have two halves. Make one whole. So we have two halves equal one whole. Okay? Now, that is the idea that I wanted you to get from t uh, this lesson that when you start with a whole and you partition it into two equal shares um, one of those shares is then called a half what do we call the pieces we call the pieces halves um, how many halves does it take to make a whole it takes one two halves over here one two halves to make a whole and by definition then a half is one of what it takes two of to make a whole now, moving on to check and see if we can look to see if uh, shapes actually are showing halves. We'll go to a next view of some shapes. Alright, looking at this uh, rectangle, we see that there are how many shares? One, two. There are two shares. Um, are they equal? It appears as if they are, yes. Um, so we have two equal shares. Uh, that means these are both showing halves. So this is showing halves. Let's take a look over here at this circle. This circle is showing one, two shares, but are they equal? Are they occupying the same amount of space? No, they're not. You can see that, that this share right here is uh, taking up much more space than this share right here. So this is not representing halves, though it does represent two shares. They are not equal shares. Coming over here, we see that this represents one, two shares. Uh, are they equal? No. Again, this share right here take, is taking up much more space than this share right here. So while they are showing two shares, they are not showing two equal shares. Two equal shares are going to be able to, we're going to be able to call them halves. And last but not least, let's take a look over here. We have one, two shares. Uh, this is showing two shares. Are they equal? Yes, it appears as if they are equal. They're taking up the same amount of space. Uh, therefore, we can call this diagram a picture of halves. I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot about halves. Uh, stay tuned to the next video, uh, which is going to talk about uh, another um, type of unit that we can call um, thirds and I have another video that we'll, which we'll talk about fourths and then another video after this that will uh, talk about um, how shares will take up the same space but they don't necessarily have to have the same shape alright thanks and I look forward to seeing you on the next video